So hello and welcome back folks. Angular version 14 was recently released and it has a lot of cool features, but the one I want to discuss today, which is in my belief, in my opinion, one of the best features released is how to update the title using just the routing strategy we already had. So it literally needs no development. And as you can see in our project, well, maybe you probably don't know about our project. So let me make the screen better for you so that I can quickly show you what I'm talking about. So we already have an Angular application we built live on this YouTube channel. And you can see it has a lot of features like obviously lazy loading, routing, et cetera. And it also has a database connection to a Firebase database. We have features like obviously lazy loading, routing, et cetera. We have playlists ready for all of that. Sorry, I just played my own video. We have playlists ready for that Angular 14 course on our YouTube channel. The link is already down in the description if you're interested to learn about that. But I won't go into a lot of details. What I want to show you is I recently updated my application to Angular 14. So you can probably see here everything is version 14, right? So what you can do is if you don't know how to upgrade an application, we have a video on how to upgrade to Angular version 13. And it's literally the same idea. Once you know how to upgrade an Angular version properly in the real steps that Angular recommends you to, you can just upgrade to any version. So if you just check out that video and change the number from 13 to 14, well, you're good to go. It will be enough and you can upgrade to any version, so on and so forth, unless there are some breaking changes, which we can talk about later. But today, as I said, I want to work on the page title. Now, some people have some confusion. They probably don't know what a page title is. So page title is a little thing on the top. For example, right now it's ng crypto and it's just stuck there. It doesn't change and it's ng crypto as is. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to show you how you can change this using the new newest Angular version, Angular 14. And it is so simple that you will love it. So let me just open that right away. Here you go. So this is my repo. Yes, I trust all the authors. Let me quickly go here to the terminal because we will need the application running anyways. So I'll run the application as well. Let me zoom in probably. Let me know if you can see it properly. If not, I can zoom in more for you. But for now, I'll assume that it's good enough. Maybe we can go one more, let's say. Now, we all know that we have a routing file, right? We have an app routing module right here. So what all we have to do is if you want to set a static title, we will show you, I'll show you both the strategies, right? I'll show you how to just set a title like this one, just setting text. And I'll also show you how to set a dynamic title because when we go to the Bitcoin, right? Or when we go to Ethereum, we want the title to depict, we want the title to show that we are on Ethereum page and not on Bitcoin. So this is going to be dynamic, obviously, right? It, it can't be static. I can't just hard code. So we'll see both the strategies and I think it's going to a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot, hopefully. So let's go ahead and set the title here. And over here, I can say, crypto price tracker, name of my application, right? Let's save it, check out. And there you go, my title is updated. So that's just perfect and it's just too easy to be honest, right? I have never seen a, an easier strategy in any of the frameworks I've worked to simply update the title. Now, what about other pages like login? If I go to login, it doesn't say that. If I go to join, again, it doesn't say that. So can I update those as well? Well, the answer is yes, absolutely. All I have to do is because these are all lazy loaded modules, each module has its own, uh, what you can say, uh, routing module. So what I'll do, do is I'll go to my auth and go to my auth, auth routing module, sorry. And over here, similarly, I'll just add the title, right? Obviously you can name the title anything you want. And for now, what I'll do is I'll just name it, uh, let's say join and this one, login going pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And these are the ways you can set, as you can see, join, maybe I have a typo, I wrote join D, sorry for that. And there you go, it should be updated now. So now I'm on the sign up page, as you can see, and my title is already up updated to join. Now I can't really zoom in into that. I can zoom in anywhere on my Chrome window, but can't really zoom in into the tab. So I hope you can see that it's joined written here. Now I can even go to the login page and it would update to login. If I go back to crypto price tracker, it updates. So we are done with that. We have updated the title and we know it's super simple and super convenient. Now, the next thing is how to update the title as we initially said for 
uh, a dynamic thing, a dynamic route. For example, if you carefully see, right now we have localhost 4200, but now it has slash crypto slash BTC, right? If I go on uh, maybe Cardano, it has slash crypto slash ADA, right? So it is a dynamic title and let's see how we can do that. And I think you will enjoy it because it's actually straightforward, but it just needs a little bit of hookup with Angular's resolve component. We have covered all of that before. If you if you think these things are overwhelming, just check out our older videos. But for now, I'll just focus on the topic. Otherwise, I can digress. So let's go to crypto details. And we have the routing module over here. So as you can see, we already have a routing model module, sorry, available. And I can just write crypto and then let's say BTC. Let's just check out how that works for us. So if I go back, I go to this, it says Bitcoin on the top, crypto dash BTC on my title. That's perfect. I can go back, I can go to any other coin, let's say XRP, but the problem is it still says BTC because we didn't make it dynamic yet. So let's go ahead and do our final step and hopefully you learn that and we can call it a day. So over here, first of all, as I said, we need the re resolve strategy. So let me just create that export class. You can name it anything. I'll just name it resolve uh, child at title. Now this is a pretty uh, convenient, or not, not really convenient, conventional way of naming the resolve component. So you name resolve and then what are you resolving? We are resolving the child route and we are resolving the title from it, right? So it's just a way to write it. You can actually name it ABC, it won't really matter. And what we want to do is we want to implement the resolve interface and I want to return a string. So let's see, and now it's giving an error. The error is that this interface comes with a method that we need to implement. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now it can look inter like intimidating obviously, right? Because it has a lot of uh, information that was just added. I don't want to return an observable. I don't want to return a promise, although we can. I will remove these because I don't need them anymore, right? And what I'll do is here, we have the route already available for us. So let me just check out what is available in the route, right? That's what we can do. First of all, let me just do a console log, console.log. Now we have covered this before. I'm just hoping to refresh our memory here. So we have the route. Then we can get the snapshot of the route. We already have a snapshot, sorry. We can actually get the params map and then we can get the ID, right? Let's see what it prints out. So if I save it, go back and refresh this page, it says we have an error. Let me quickly check what error do we have. Oh, I need to return something, obviously. I need to return a string here, right? So I'll just return an empty string for now because to be honest, we are just checking it, right? We are just seeing how it works and what it returns. So if I go here and refresh, we didn't really see anything being printed. So let me go ahead and check. Of course, of course, we have the title, we have the resolve strategy, but the problem is we didn't really hook this up, right? So what I'll do is I'll take this resolve at title and instead of passing a string, I'll pass this resolve component this resolve function or uh, what we have created. So now that we refresh, it says null inject error. Let's see what, what the problem might be now. Well, now it says that we have export class and uh, yes, the most important thing. And I always forget this and I hope you are better than me. So we have to make it injectable and we have to allow it to be available in you maybe guessed it already in the root. So now I think this is the final step. Let's refresh for the final time. And there you go. We have BTC on our console, as you can see over here. Now, if I go back and if I go to another coin, there you go, we have BNB. Go back and maybe check this one out. We have dots. So now finally we have all the cryptocurrencies dynamically being printed here. And now that we have the string that we are printing, obviously the last step would be to just display the string on the title itself. So instead of just doing a console log, what I can do is just return the string itself. And in case this is not present, we have to return an empty string. Or I can just say coin 
right? So this means that if this is absent, if this is, isn't present, then I'll just return coin. Otherwise, if it is present, what I can actually do is even better. I can say using the back text, my coin is, or even not coin, I can say crypto is, and there you go. Now it should say crypto dash and then the coin name. So in this case, as you can see, it says crypto dash BTC. If I go here, it says crypto slash BNB. So that's working perfectly. We have learned both the ways on how to stay, uh, set the title dynamically and statically using Angular 14's new, very convenient feature. Let me know how you used to do it before. I have done it before for some of the companies I used to work for and it was a real pain. And this just makes our life so much easier that I'm already in love with it. Now, as I said, if you want to copy the code, if you want to just look at it and if that makes you feel better, you can just go ahead and download our GitHub repo and the link to it is already in the description below. If you want to learn how we made this application, also the link is down below for our complete online live playlist. I prefer making this video live because the reason is when we actually have an issue, I saw it in front of you, like I just did today, right? So that shows you that when you develop applications, nothing is just straightforward. You just don't go, as you can see in other videos, you, you type some things and your application is ready. It doesn't work that way. You have some challenges, you have some issues. Most of the times you have to look things up online. So that's our goal to show you how things are done live. And I hope you learned something new and I hope it helps you in setting titles in your own Angular application. Let me know your experience in the description or uh, sorry, in the comments down below. And really thankful for you spending the time to see our video and until next time.